In this video we will show how to put a brushless motor into a broken pocket bike. We got this motorcycle for only 60 euro because the engine was broken. Here is all you need for your conversion. Battery, a motor with a pinion, which is a 25H pinion, motor support, gas throttle and the ESC. The motor I used is a cheap RC brushless motor with 8mm shaft so you can find easily the 25H pinion which is needed for the chain. This motor is sensorless, you can use sensored motor for a stronger startup. About the battery, you can choose almost everything you want, which has a sufficient power. For instance, I have a 10 amp power, 6 cells, but you could even use a small 3 cell, 2 amp hours. For the speed controller, I use the Flipsky 4.2 because it's highly configurable and you have also the Bluetooth module where you can change the acceleration and maximum speed on your child motorcycle. As throttle handle, you can use any e-bike throttle with analog output 0 to 5 volt. I've chosen this one with the LCD display so you can see also the battery voltage. Then you need to build a motor mount. I used a piece of aluminum, a thick one, 4mm, so you can take out the heat from the motor. On the motor mount you will put four holes. They have to match the holes that you have for the old petrol engine. About the hole where the motor shaft is passing, you can follow the chain carter if you don't have the original motor position. And the chain has to remain straight from the sprocket to the pinion. Now we will prepare all the parts in order to be connected together with the right plugs. And we will assemble the entire kit functioning on the table. You need to connect the Bluetooth module in this position here. And then, since here in this connector there is also the analog input for the throttle, I soldered three wires servo plug directly on the bottom of the connector. Then you need to solder the connector for the battery on the speed controller. Then you have to connect a servo plug into the throttle. And you will have, on the green you have the signal, in the yellow and black you have the ground, and in the red you have the plus, 5 volt. And in the blue you have the battery sensor, which I connected to this small connector and will be plugged to the battery voltage. Now we can connect all the parts together. We have the motor. Any combination of the wire is OK. Then you have the throttle. And then you have the battery. OK, I cheated. Now your setup will not work. You need to go for the boring part of setting up the ESC. Let's see if I will make a dedicated video or if I will just provide my parameters. But now let's put together the motorcycle.
Now they are limited to 12 km per hour, but you can change the speed in real time with your smartphone. And you can go up to 35 km per hour with six cells and this ratio.